Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I had a request to share my favorite nude lipsticks with you guys, so I thought I would go ahead and go through all of my nudes and just talk about them a little individually, and then I'll tell you which ones are my absolute favorites from there. So, I have done my makeup. My lips are, um, I don't really conceal my lips out, but when I apply my foundation, I do go over them lightly with the brush, so that's why they're so pale. Uh, but I figured since I'm going to be putting some nudes on, I may as well just leave them like that because that's how I would normally do it anyway. So let me get started. First up, four liners uh, in terms of nude lipsticks. I have several. The first one is really what I use for like a darker nude lip. And this is a MAC Strip Tease. It's old. I've had it for a long time. It has really stood the test of time but there's that it really gives you that perfect 90s lip um, in conjunction with several other things but that is that really pretty kind of brown and I consider it a nude because it is such a brown if you want like a dark nude lip bless you buddy okay next is the L'Oreal um, crown petite this is barely pink I use this underneath a lot of my nude lips and of course I'm out of it you can't even see it I'm out Geez, why didn't I throw that away and get a new one? How annoying. Well, there it is. Okay, you can't see it, but it's really good if you want to pink up a nude lip. So if you want to make your base a little bit more pink um, for your face, you know, the nude. Next is the Too Faced Borderline Lip Pencil. I use this for every lip color I apply. It's good for nudes, good for brights, reds, every color you can think of, darks. It's just a clear, oh my goodness, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Just to clear, wow, the tip fell off. I'm having really great luck with this, aren't I? It's just a clear wax and it keeps it from so budging. Funny. Thank you, honey, thank you, he said bless me. And lastly, the Cargo Reversible Lip Liner, which I think is a fabulous nude lip option. And this basically just nudes out your lip line. Looks like that, but it's a good base layer. So that's just some lip liners to get them out of the way. That dark one, if you want it, the pink one, which really, like I said, pinks up a nude, and then this one. And it's good to have these as kind of a base, depending on you know how you want to play with your nudes, because you can really change up the way a nude looks with what you put on underneath it, as well as whatever gloss you put on top of it. I know, thank you so much for saying bless you. I appreciate it, thank you. Okay, so. These three were pretty much the lip colors that made me fall in love with the nude lip. Okay, and they are so cheap and just, I love them. Um, and they are the e.l.f. Lip, matte lip color crayons. Okay, please, he's telling me. Everything is pretty, thank you. Um, okay, so there's these. I'm sorry, I lost my chain of thought. And they are $3 a piece, and I absolutely love them. I really and truly love them. They are awesome, awesome lip colors. I got these at Target on a whim. This first one is called Nearly Nude. There's Nearly Nude, Nude, and then this pink color, which is natural. Um, but here they are. And the packaging is not the great, you know, that great, of course, product comes out every time I open it. A little bit of it comes out. I have to push it back in. Um, but the actual color application is fabulous. If they put this in a $20 packaging, I would pay $23 for it because I love it. So that is the one that I'm going to apply. And I like to mix, and I'll show you in a minute. And that is my absolute favorite nude. I love it. It's just, I love it. It's not working. It's not on. And here it is swatched. It is kind of a pinky nude color, um, but it does nude my lips out completely. So I love that one. This is, oh, they're both nearly nude. Ooh, they're both the same color. Um, I have a nude one, which, see, every time I open it, it kind of pops out. So you just have to be very careful with it because like I said, it is cheap packaging, but the product itself is really great if you can get past the annoying package. Um, the nude is a little bit darker than this, which is another really good option. And apparently I don't have it. It must be in one of my purses. And lastly, the natural shade, which this one doesn't really pop out as much. It looks like this and it's out. I can't stand when I... Do, yes, Crocker's right there, I know. Okay, 
Urgh, why am I out of all my favorite nudes? How annoying. Okay, there it is. It's a very pink nude. It's beautiful. I like... I guess I know where I'm going this afternoon. I like to put it on in the center of that nude lip. Kind of an ombre, but not quite ombre look. Just enough to really bring some pink out of it. So I love that for a nude look. So if I had to pick a favorite, hands down, it would be these matte lip color crayons. I just oh, love them, love them, love them, love them. Okay, let me take that off. Super uneven, sorry. Okay, next would be just my favorite lip colors. Okay, be nice to Cracker. And for those, the majority of them are MAC. I do have to tell you that right off the bat. Um, I absolutely love my MAC lipsticks. And these are my absolute favorite nudes right here. The first one is Love Dust by MAC. And this is a matte... Okay, and it looks like this, and it's just a very pretty, it's got a little bit of a hint of gold, which I really do not care for a lot of frost in my lipsticks, but this one is absolutely pretty. This one, which is a luster, Flare for Finery, and this was a special collection, that's why it's gold, um, but it looks like this, and it's really pretty as well. And there it is, it's a little pinker for a nude color. And you can see that it's nude, but it's not so nude that it conceals your lips completely. It lets them shine through, but it's a very pretty natural nude lip color. This one, Myth, which is your typical concealer, my lips are not on my face, um, lip color, which is right here. That's Myth, which is also really pretty. I'll put it on top. You can see how that conceals it out a little bit more. Okay. Lady Gaga 2, which is an amplified, which is a little darker of a nude, um, but very pretty, very natural. It's kind of a luster finish. It's right there. And lastly, my newest one. This is Japanese Maple, which is a cream sheen. And here it is. And swatched, it looks like. That really pretty color. And of my MAC ones, this is my favorite one right now. because it has that very pale nude lip, but it lets my color shine through still, so it looks like I have lips on my face, but I'm still nuded out at the same time. So, Japanese maple. And, I'm just trying to get all these things off. Can you hear dinosaur train? It's on. I put it on so that my kids would watch it. And of course, my daughter's like watching it, and my son is over here, um, which is pretty typical of him. Okay, and then lastly, the MAC Special Collection. It's the Perwinda Chule Wood Rose Luster, which looks like this. It's a very pretty color. I'm not going to put it on my lips because you guys have seen it, but it's a good, very rose kind of shade of nude. So really pretty. Next would be some drugstore ones. These are um, two Ramel ones that I've had for quite some time. This one is Birthday Suit, which is really pretty. And these Ramel ones always smell so nice. There it is, it's a darker-ish nude. And then this one, which is Airy Fairy, which is a very pretty color. Um, and there's Airy Fairy right there. It's a little bit more pink nude than anything, but it's absolutely gorgeous nude option. And my favorite drugstore, Aside from the um, e.l.f. ones, of course. But I can't consider those drugstore because I can't pop into my local CVS or Walgreens to pick up e.l.f. I have to stop and go into a Target. So I don't really consider them drugstore because it is not a drugstore that I have to go into. Um, but my favorite drugstore one would be the Revlon Soft Nude. I wanted to call it Nearly Nude, but Soft Nude. And there it is. It is very soft lipstick, so every time I put it in, the lipstick falls back onto the container. Um, but it's okay. So much for packaging, right? And here's Revlon Soft Nude. 
Just a very pretty nude shade. And did I swatch it? Here's it swatched. Be careful with it because it literally falls apart. Okay, so there it is swatched. Just a really pretty nude. It does have a little bit of pink that runs through it, but very lightly. Nothing even remotely visible. So there is that one. And next, I will just move on to some nudes that I have to pop into Sephora to pick up. My hand dries off. And those are uh, Makeup Forever NARS and Hourglass nudes. Now for the perfect, and I'm not going to put this on because it stains. Like once it's on, it's on your lips. It's not going to budge the entire day, but it's the Makeup Forever, uh, what are these called? Makeup Forever Aqua Rouge liquid waterproof color. And you put this side on first. They smell so good, but it's literally like a lacquer. Uh, it goes on and it stays. This is that absolute beautiful 90s lip um, Cindy Crawford was really famous for in the 90s. It's that dark kind of nude brown. Really, really pretty though. Kind of a taupe brown almost. And you put that on and it literally sets, does not budge. And then you put on the gloss on top. So really pretty option. And lastly, the NARS in Biscayne Park, which is a lip crayon that is not sharpened. I have a very bad habit. I'll put these away without sharpening them. It's annoying because then when I pull them out and I'm like, I'm not wearing this, I got to find my sharpener to sharpen them. But really pretty. And if I can get some out... There it is, swatched, really pretty color. And my favorite one from Sephora, which is the Hourglass um, Stylo, Femme Nude Stilo in nude number three. I swatched all of the nude, there's like, I think eight of them. Swatched them all and then kind of narrowed it down from there from the lightest to light, to dark, to dark, and then to orange, to pink, and then this was my perfect one, and it's number three. There it is right there, really pretty. And there that is. Mm, that was ugly, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Mm, I don't have a mirror. Okay, so better, a little better. And these you just twist up so you don't have to sharpen them. So there you have it. My, oh, and then a lip gloss, which is from H&M, but it's my favorite nude lip gloss. It's just really pretty. And it is called Nude Dude. And it's the perfect kind of lip gloss to just wear alone or just apply. It's right there. Apply on top of any of your nude lip colors. So really, really pretty. So there you have it. My absolute favorite nude lipsticks, which I will show you again once I find the MAC one that I told you was my favorite. Where are you, MAC one? Here it is. Okay. So quickly. <laughs> the e.l.f. matte lip color in Nearly Nude from Target. My absolute favorite Target, not drugstore, um, lip color. My favorite drugstore lip color from Revlon is the Soft Nude Shade. My favorite MAC Nude, which is Japanese Maple Cream Sheen. My favorite Sephora <laughs> Um, store bought or Sephora nude would be the Hourglass Stilo in number three, which I'm wearing with the nude dude gloss on top, which is just my favorite nude gloss. And then for that out there 90s nude brown taupe lip, the Makeup Forever Aqua Rouge in number one, which I think is beautiful when it's, you know what, I'll put it on just because I have to show you. How gorgeous of a brown nude it is. I'm gonna be tasting makeup wipe the rest of the day. I'm just trying to dry it. Okay, this, like I said, it's waterproof. So once it's on, it's on. It's not gonna budge. You have to work kind of fast with it. I hope I'm in my lines. Okay. 
how brown that is. It's like the perfect 90s lip. I say it all the time because I just love it. And it's dry. It's literally set. It feels like suede on my lips. So. Does not transfer off. It is there for the day. And I'll show you on my make sure. Okay. Here's a martini glass. I'm drinking. Putting my lip all over it. No lip marks. None. I love these. I have it in red and pink and like every color that Makeup Forever makes because I love them. They're awesome. And then here's the gloss. <laughs> now the gloss, of course. Bless you, buddy. My son is developing like a summer cold or something. The gloss, of course, will transfer, but that's it. You won't see anything else. I gotta wash that glass now. My husband's gonna be like, my martini glass has lip gloss on it. Okay, so those are my favorite nudes. I will list them down below so that you guys can see them written out um, in case you have questions. Let me know what else you'd like to see. Thank you so much for requesting this video. I enjoyed sharing all of my nude favorites with you guys, even though I feel like I have certain favorites, but I love all my nudes, really and truly. Um, I don't know. It's like my go-to lip color right now is just nude. And I've been on brights for so long, um, for so many years, it was I was just about a bright lip. But nudes feel like a little toned down, a little subdued. They feel nice, though. And I feel like with a nude lip, I can really flare out my eyes. Whereas with a bright lip, I feel like I need to downplay my eyes and kind of do the opposite. So that is that. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.